previously on Balls. Tommy Marichachi, new assistant coach of Bafana Bafana. <laughs> and the career just keeps going up and up, Tommy. Uh, it's all your support uh, and all the uh, guidance that I've been given and held by people like Evan Hunt, Tito Musibane. You can name all the coaches that I've worked under. And uh, obviously you worked under both of those at uh, at Supersport United. I mean, you've got, you got a long history there, which goes back to, uh, I think, as a player, where you were where you were with Sundowns. Uh, did you, let's just first of all, you did go for a trial at Rangers at one stage, didn't you? Yes, uh, I went to Scotland uh, for trials, and uh, but I couldn't get a work permit because of uh, that era. Yeah. But when South Africa was not part of uh, the international world, so I couldn't. Uh, sign with the uh, Glasgow Rangers. Yeah, and you were you were a Sunda Sundowns player back in that day, weren't you, or Pirates? No, I was a Cosmos player. Cosmos. Cosmos player. All right. Yes. Then ended up uh, playing at Super Sports United. I think just when they uh, when they sort of started, they had been established. One of the uh, the first big name signings for Super Sports United, and of course the success has just grown. You went into the coaching role there. How long have you been uh, in the in a coaching setup or been involved with Super Sports United since you started there? Uh, I've been with Super Sport United for the past 15 years, wow. and uh, as an assistant coach, it's almost eight years that I've been uh, assisting all the coaches that have been there. Yeah, and uh, a hell of a nice setup at Super Sport United. I mean, obviously you become part of the family, but they've become part of your life, part of your uh, footballing life for so many years. To be honest, uh, I'm very grateful to have been uh, at the group like Super Sport, uh, whereby. Uh, I've matured not only as a football person but as a human being but all that credit has to go to uh, the leadership of MTS Patel, Kulu Sibia, Gavin Hunt, Peter Musimani, Terry Payne, uh, Roy Matthews, you can name them and uh, I'm what I am today because of those kind of people and of course I don't want to forget the men who gave me an opportunity to be a soccer player as well, Jomo Sono. Jomo. He played a very mm, typical right. role in my career. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, of course, another name you can throw in there, I think, when he was in charge in those days and got the the, 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 the club and the whole football thing going was uh, was Russell McMillan back in those days. Most definitely. He's the person that uh, got me to Supersport. And uh, I remember when I signed for Supersport United, he assured me one thing. He, he said to me, Thomas, don't ever consider going overseas. I want you to be part of this club and I want to make an example what a professional setup is. And here we are today, we're talking about a triple winning championship team. It's because of the visionary of uh, the likes of uh, Russell McMillan and, and Glenn Marx, who was yeah. at the helm at one stage. Yeah. And of course, uh, you worked with Terry as a player in the early days. I think Terry was coaching the side or uh, managing the side in the in the in the early days. The one and only Terry Payne. Uh, you know, it's so sad at times that uh, in South Africa we don't really, really, really uh, appreciate people that have contributed. For South African football, I think Terry Payne has contributed so much. He's the one that uh, got me to Super Sport United. And Terry Payne is one of those people that made sure that today South African football players have contracts. Terry Payne brought out contracts from England for Super Sport United that were ended up being used by the PSL today. So he's one of our legends that have contributed so much, and I'm what I am as well because of people like Terry Payne. Oh, great endorsement for Terry there as well. And you do say you have uh, matured over the years, Tommy, but uh, I haven't seen you for a while. But I always remember Tommy was the guy that doesn't matter how old he got, always looked like a <laughs> sort of 17-year-old. He's got that baby face, the baby face assassin. <laughs> Still looking as young as ever? Hey, unfortunately, you know, at age is catching up with me. I need a lot of exercise. And I know with Bafana stress, definitely I'll lose a little bit of kilos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not an easy job. Obviously, you, you are kind of sheltered as the assistant coach, but... Uh, you know, you're going to be working with a guy who's, uh, who's, who's, who's cre um, I mean, his credibility is there as far as what he's achieved on the PSL front. Let's first of all just talk about someone that you've worked closely with before who was the coach and, and Pizzo Mossimani. 
Um, because, I mean, if you'd been given this opportunity uh, a little earlier while Pizza was there, you probably would have jumped at it as well because I know you speak very highly of Pizza and his abilities. To be honest, I mean, uh, Pizza uh, uh, has also uh, contributed so much to my career as a coach. I can tell you, Pizza is one of the most knowledgeable uh, South African football coaches. And uh, yes, he took Bafana. At the time when he took Bafana, I think the people that he had there did a wonderful job. And uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, in football, uh, there comes a time when you have to move on. And uh, I wish Pizzo all the best. And I know Pizzo will bounce back. And uh, Pizzo has done well for South African football. Mm. All right. So now, what are, what are the expectations for you? I and mean, what is what is your actual role? Have you had a chance to sort of? Uh, chat to Gordon. Do you do you know kind of what the role, what he wants you to be, and what your role to be with the Bafana side? Uh, we just had our first technical meeting this afternoon with uh, myself, Rame, uh, Heredia, and Zach Van Yelden. And Gordon has just made it clear to us it's nothing complicated. He's expecting all of us to be pulling in one direction, supporting in whatever way possible to make sure, because it's not about us as individuals, it's about the country at stake, and we have to do whatever it takes to make sure that Bafana gets back to its uh, 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 credible position in world football. Yeah, obviously with uh, with Gordon, and, and I made the point a couple of times leading up to his appointment and even afterwards as well, whatever success he's achieved in the uh, in the PSL, and you, you mentioned that Gordon doesn't want to make it complicated, that's probably the key, is that Gordon keeps it very simple. And he's shown that probably you could borrow from what he's done with Swallows because although Bafana is probably the most complicated job that you will have in local football, you know, to step into a Swallows setup where they were struggling about to get relegated, he walked in there, kept it simple, got the guys to buy into his, his vision, and they almost won the league this year. Is it pretty much the same kind of blueprint that, uh, that he's bringing to Bafana? I know it's a different ball game altogether because of, you know, when you work at club level, You've got the players uh, from Monday to Saturday, and you've got a game on Sunday. Uh. And you are able to, you know, you are all able to work with characters, you are able to change their mentality, you are able to motivate them. But with Bafana, it's a different ball game altogether. You get players a week before. But that has shown with Gordon over the years, he's been able to come in in a team that has never been uh, uh, thought of uh, uh, to get results or to be a challenging team and make them to believe in themselves and get the results. You look at Santos, you look at many Rangers, mm. now lately with uh, 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 Morocco Swallows. So I believe with his knowledge and in his experience and his will to work because he's a work fanatic, I, I, I strongly feel and I believe that uh, he will lead us in the right direction. Well, that's, uh, and everyone's, uh, I think, really looking forward to uh, Bafana going uh, the right direction, that is upwards, improving that world ranking and uh, starting to put those results together with the new team, which includes you as assistant coach. Tom, you've got to be honest, though, uh, from a Super Sport United point of view, while Gavin's been there, you've actually been coaching the side because he's on the golf course every day of the week. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Devin only plays golf on Wednesday afternoon. There we go. Uh, Devin and never misses any training session. Even all of us complain, say, Coach, hey, we're training too much. <laughs> <laughs> We've opened. We've never had an off day because Devin wants to be on the field. Devin is a perfectionist, and that's why Devin is one of the top and most successful coaches. And I'm very, 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 very grateful that I had an opportunity to learn from Gavin and I know Supersport will even do better than when I was there yeah I think you're going to win the league again this year I've got a little feeling yeah. um, just have you phoned Gavin by the way uh, it's his birthday today I'm going to see Gavin later on ok well if we don't get a chance to get hold of him later let me the balls team wish him happy birthday as well 
because uh, it's Wednesday and he is on the uh, golf course. Can I just ask you one more, Tommy? Um, uh, Lucas, I know there's been a little bit of talk. We chatted to him a couple of weeks ago as well. Uh, are you going to be getting uh, guys like that involved and using some of their expertise, especially their knowledge of sort of overseas conditions and how things work over there? Are they going to be more closely involved with the side or is that still too early for you to say? For me, I don't think that's my area to comment about and uh, I think the leader of the technical team which is uh, uh, Gordon Egas and he will be the suitable person to comment who, which other people he would want to be part of this Awesome stuff. Tommy, we're really proud and uh, happy that you've now moved up and got this gig with uh, with uh, with um, Bafana Bafana and we wish you every success. You thoroughly deserve it you're a hell of a nice guy and down to earth guy as well and uh, we wish you and Gordon success with this new venture with your support, I believe we can turn this thing around. And I really, really thank you. And I'm saying, please, beg us. We'll always be there to make sure that South Africa gets to the position that it deserves. We're right oh, behind you, it. Tommy. Thanks, Thanks a lot Tommy. for chatting to us. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. There we go. Tommy Madikahi. We the best on three. One, two, three. We, we the best. best. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.